Hi guys, I'm Ryan Murray, Music Production Tutor at Crossfader Music Academy. Today I'm going to do a quick overview of the Ableton Push 2. Let's get started by looking at Ableton's drum rack. When you load an instance of the drum rack into Ableton, it splits the pads into three sections. The first section is the drum rack itself, located in the left hand corner. This contains 16 pads with loaded samples. The second section is the 32 step sequencer and the third section is the loop length. There are two ways to create drum beats with push. The first way is to play in finger rhythms of your own using the velocity sensor pads like this. If you played the beats in incorrectly, you can correct them by pressing the quantize button on the left hand side. Alternatively, if you don't feel very comfortable at playing your own finger rhythms in, then you can use the step sequencer. Let's start by adding a kick drum in. Now a clap, hi-hat. On the left hand side you can double the loop, so now it's going over two bars, so let's add in an offbeat snare. 